Hello. Unboxing time. I've actually had this one for a while and um, I haven't shown you guys this at all because I've not used it yet. This is a bit special. You're going to like this one. Serious bling. Here we go. I confess, I have opened this. I have looked at it. It's really lovely. Are you ready? Look at that. It's so pretty. This is the Altair 60 EDF wide field scope. I picked this up at the Practical Astronomy Show. I have not yet used it. Um, it's, I, I kind of open the box every now and then just to look at it and think, wow, that looks amazing. This is going to be part of a wide field rig that I want to build this year. Again, because I got it when it was uh, quite late in the season, I haven't had even had time to look through it. Um, I've given it a check over, make sure it's all okay. But it's just really nice. Loads of red anodized aluminium on there. This will hold a guide camera, so you'll be able to just clamp a guide camera on there. It has a dual speed focuser, again in the red anodized. It has a camera rotator, so you can rotate your camera itself. So you can ro rotate the positioning of the camera. Uh, when I bought this, I also got a little 3D printed Batonoff mask to aid with focusing. So I'm not going to use an autofocuser on this uh, because this is a very much a wide field scope. So I want to try and get some really wide pictures of the sky. And in addition, it came in a plastic bag. So that's the only difference. I've taken it out of the plastic bag. However, this particular scope has a dedicated field flattener as well. And I didn't get the dedicated field flattener. Now that may bite me. I do have a field flattener already, which is why I didn't buy it at the time. But I was told by the suppliers Altair that this would actually probably work. Um, the Altair Lightwave 0.8 field flattener. Um, but they do also recommend the 0.1 field flattener as well, this particular one. So I could use it either in its native focal length with this setup that I've got here, or I can reduce it further by 0.8, and that will give an even wider field of view as well. The native focal length of this scope is shown on the lens itself. It is a 360 millimeter at f6. So there it is. And it has a sliding mini dew shield, but of course you would put a dew heater on there, but it does have a little dew shield on there and a really nice red anodized lens cap to go on as well. It's a thing of beauty. It comes in its own case, which is great. And um, you can, if you wish, put a finder scope on there. It's got a finder scope bracket, and, uh, but it also has this here for mounting your guide scope. So there we go. The Altair 60 EDF wide field scope. And I'm really looking forward to using this. This is going to be a mini setup, which I'm hoping to get some really nice shots, sort of a wide field of the entire Orion complex would be really good to see. Um, yes, so super exciting. There you go, nice bit of bling for you. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.